Hey everybody, Mr. Steve here, and I've got the Cracks add-on and a cool update with the UV Unwrapper. So this is a little bit limited right now, and it's still a work in progress, but it's usable. So if we click Fast Cracker, uh, as you know, we'll get our procedural cracks here, and we can crack the entire mesh, or we can just crack uh, singular areas. We can also select our empty, kind of bring it anywhere we want and then accentuate those cracks. And with the object selected in the end panel, you'll get some options like count. We'll bring this up to something like 25. And apparently I have my numpad turned on, so there we go. So now we've got some extra cracks here and we want to UV unwrap this. I'm gonna bring the voxel size down to something like 0 0.059 for now, just to kind of tighten things up a little bit. And now we'll go ahead and go into render view and we'll press UV unwrap. This will add our procedural material with an unwrap no group that you guys feel free to take a look at. Very simple, I'm not gonna go over that. Uh, but a very simple solution to a big problem. Trying to unwrap individual cut separate pieces on a mesh through geometry nodes is a little bit difficult. So like I said, it's a work in progress, but if we switch this over to volume, which is what it's designed for, you'll see we instantly have some much more realistic looking cracks. It's very nice. You may find an artifact or two uh, but I'm working on it, so you know you could pick a spot. And, but this gives you a probably about a 95% uh, unwrapped mesh that looks really good all the way around. So I hope you guys will really be able to use this. Now, cool thing, you know, while you're using the add-on, uh, you'll be able to actually shift these cracks around. Very nice. You could change the gap size and change a bunch of different things. It does not work with the glass cracker and the bevel is a totally different thing that is just a standardized object. So if we were to come over here and drop in a cube and we do the fast cracker, we can click bevel it and we don't have um, anything showing here. So let's go to the shader editor and then we'll just change the color. So I can't really see all that, but this will add a simple bevel shader for you guys. So you guys can play around with that just a little bit and it can look very nice, I think. So you've got shader bevel edges, which is fakery cheap, but works very well, I think. Uh, so as for just the cracks add-on itself, making some nice jumps, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. You could turn the count way up. Uh, just know it is going to be at the cost of viewport performance and you may end up with a couple of artifacts but you can simply shift a couple of things like the voxel size here 0 0.03 perhaps and what that'll do is it'll give the UV unwrap node group some more geometry to work with and should place the texture a little bit more evenly. And of course, all of that is a little bit at the cost of viewport performance, but I did speed up the add-on, so it works a lot better. And now all of those artifacts are gone. However, the node group's gonna come in, count set to 10, and the voxel size will be higher. So you'll need to bring those down when you're done experimenting and you've got the setup that you want. If you wanna change the material, you just come over here, and we don't want stone four, we could put some other type of material in there. It, it should load automatically like it did here and give you at least a starter of material. Hope this is helpful for everybody. Let me know in the comments how you like this and what I can do to make the add-on even better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.